Hey guys, this is video 2 in the series and it's basically going to be about how to create a basic profile in SICK. I like to name most of my profiles based around my keywords. So first of all, we'll start off by populating all the blank boxes you'll see on your screen. Uh, this is quite simple, just hit generate I like to hit it a few times just to make sure it's quite unique. Right, and usually what I do here is I'll adjust this for the example, just name it example. Uh, you can change the password if you like. And usually I would change this, so for the example, to the first name and last name that I put in the username and display name. So. Quite simply, you're just filling in all the fields, like so. Uh, you can leave, uh, usually what I do if I'm focusing on a, a specific keyword, I'll just write a quick note. This is for keyword example. Now we'll go into it and we'll go into the mailbox settings. Usually I set it up with Gmail. So I'll go into this in just pure example would be password gmail.com and the port I think is 995 there we go and always make sure I like to just copy across that field there into the email box field now usually I'd hit test on this and this obviously will have a login failure because it's just an example of a Gmail account. But as you can see, the pop configuration test was successful. Uh, so this is all okay. Then we'll go through to the capture box. Now, some people don't actually use this as long as they've got the global settings filled in that I've showed you in a previous video. Uh, however, it's always good just to have it filled in just in case. So hit first option on whatever one you use as I mentioned in the last video I always like to use decapture and then I type in me account details and hit test again next is proxies uh, for those of you that do have a private proxies you can put them in here with passwords etc and um, for those of you that don't you can always harvest new proxies by simply getting Click on Harvest New, select on all the different sources, and then hit Harvest Now. And this will just go away, harvest uh, as many proxies as it can from free sources. And for the example of the video, it's taken a while, so I'll just stop it there. Okay, now you'll notice I've got some proxies on the list already. I've just added them in from Proxy Goblin, and all we do simply rather than ticking each and every pro proxy because there could be hundreds of them we'll just right click and click check all proxies then usually you'll just hit test and this will start testing each proxy and find out which ones are actually good and which ones aren't then you'll remove the failed and if you want remove the slow ones and then just save them to the profile and that's basic account setup I would then save this as the keyword example So that way, it keeps me sick. Submit a folder all nice and tidy, and I know specifically what that profile is about. Especially if you've got hundreds of keywords or hundreds of different websites that you have to promote in, it's a good way of just keeping everything separate and just in order. The next video I'll be releasing is going to be on the profile submitter tab. 